Welcome to Horganize with professional organizer Rachel Seavey. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., Rachel shares her expertise and compassionate approach to help you deal with overwhelming clutter. Rachel? Hey, collectors! Ho, ho, ho! Thank you for tuning in to the Horganize podcast. I'm your host, professional organizer Rachel Seavey, and this podcast is all about organizing and cleaning. Before the holidays, yes, before. Why wait until the mess is enormous and start on your organizing and cleaning today? Between gifts, entertaining, cards, and shopping, you can actually get rid of some stress just by being more organized. Here are some of my favorite organizing and cleaning tips before the holidays. Let's start with clothing. Okay, we usually wear our holiday clothing or formal wear just once a year. And this can actually become clutter that we tend to overlook. Take some time now to comb through your holiday clothing and formal wear. Get rid of what doesn't fit, what you don't love, and be realistic about what you haven't worn in years. Cards. A lot of you still love to send out cards, and honestly, if I had more time, I probably would too. There's always the option to go clutter-free and send out e-cards. These are free or paid online cards that you can send to your friends and family that take up no space, and they don't feel obligated to keep them forever. But if you do like to send out your cards, go through your list of or your address book. Uh, create a list of people that you want to send cards to that you can easily update every year. Stop combing through and spending time going through your address book and wondering if you should or shouldn't. Just create a card list and that way you can easily update it every year. And uh, you're also able to come up with a number of cards you will be sending. That way you don't over shop and buy way too many cards. Gift giving. Narrow down your list of gift giving. Many times people feel obligated to give gifts rather than actually give from their heart. Who would really like a gift? And whom would you like to give to? Create a list of all the people that you need to buy for. Include their interests, their hobbies, sizes, favorite color, etc. And keep the list with you when you're shopping so you know what you're going to buy. Cross off when you've purchased a gift. You can also consider just going green this year and purchase an experience instead of an item. You could buy tickets to a show, ball game, theme park, movie. You could buy a class for somebody, cooking class, or maybe a computer class or a class you can do together. Concert, that's an awesome way to purchase an experience instead of an item. Or you could give out babysitting or pet sitting coupons to your friends and family. Just try and think about how you can go green this year by purchasing an experience instead of an item. The last tip I have is for cleaning before the holidays. For parents of kids or kitties or dogs, I know all of my collectors' pets have collections as well. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, I know your parents too. So what I like to do as a parent is I go through my son's toys when he's not looking. So go through your dog or your cat's toys if you don't have kids when they're not looking. And if they're good, just donate them to the animal shelter. The animal shelter is an amazing place to donate. Uh, if they're looking raggedy, um, and, and of course, if you have kids, donate to a charity that accepts toys for kids. 
Um, but if the toys for kids or the dog toys end up looking ratty, throw them out. It's okay. You've got to make room for the new stuff that's going to be coming in over the holidays. Um, I always give my sons a good wipe down or I put them through uh, his toys through the dishwasher if they're dishwasher friendly. That way they're all nice and clean before more get piled on top of them. I do like to suggest that when you're cleaning your dogs or your kids toys that you try and go green and eco-friendly whenever you can. Uh, Some of these mass market products can actually cause indoor pollution and allergies. Uh, It's really, really easy to Google and find recipes that use everyday items that you most likely have in your home. Uh, This could be lemon, baking soda, vinegar. Um, Pinterest is a great resource too. I have a lot of cleaning tips on Pinterest and you can find me there if you just search under collector care. Just make sure that if you're buying some of these mass market products that you read the labels because just because a cleaner says it's green doesn't mean it is. So make sure that you read the labels or you make your own cleaning product. I have a cleaning aromatherapy blend that I created on my website and you can find this at my store which is located at www.collectorcare.com forward slash shop and these are clutter free products that I sell that I hand create for you collectors. Thanks for tuning in, collectors. Happy holidays. I wish you the best. I hope that you are planning to have a clutter-free new year for 2017. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, go ahead and take your dust cloth and clean off that thumbs up button. (laughs) Make sure you press that thumbs up button or you can subscribe to my YouTube page and leave a comment letting us all know what your favorite cleaning and organizing tips are before the holidays. Until next time, collectors, and remember, happiness is a place between too little and too much. This has been Organize with Rachel C.V., New episodes are available every Sunday at 6 p.m. and also on the Collector Care YouTube channel. Download Rachel's Affirmations for Collectors on iTunes or Amazon.com or sign up for Rachel's blog at CollectorCare.com and receive seven tips for clutter-free living. Thanks for listening.